Well, we got a little water running in here. Not a whole lot. It's definitely not sluiceable. Not that I can sluice here. But it's washed off some bedrock. So. Try to open this up. That's all I'm doing is just walking along, checking this bedrock, trying to find some gaps in it. Just kind of old style crevicing, that's it, you know. I'm not really in the mood to dig. Around here when you dig you don't get much anyway. But if you can find the right crevice it can be pretty good. So that's all I'm doing. Just walking around spot checking while I got some water. And uh, we'll see what we get today. I just uncovered all this. Now this is all solid. You know, there might be a little something in that. I'll check it. But got a v going on here got this big rock wedged in here and the bedrock what i'm doing is slowly uncovering it you see to try and find those nice little gold grabbing drops on it and again it's hard bedrock so that's not i mean not as common you know what i mean on that schisty bedrock or that breakable bedrock a lot more gold because it just got a lot more places for it to drop this stuff it kind of just blows across but there's a drop right in here, see, rise up and then drop off. So I'm hoping once I pull all this stuff out, pull this stuff out here. I don't know if that's bedrock. I think it's just a rock. I'm not sure. But I'm hoping there's some crevicing right in here. And, you know, hey, it's a V. I got to check that. That's where the nuggets hide on this kind of bedrock. It's the only place they can stop. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just slowly pulling material off and then letting the water blow the dust away so I can see what I'm doing. This is my favorite way to hunt. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I like different kind of bedrock. I don't really like this kind. But, you know what? This will work. So I'm hoping to score a little something today. I don't know about no pickers. because I haven't got a picker out of this hard bedrock in a while. But I'll give it a lot shot. of the material out of that. Can you see down there? Uh, there's still some rocks wedged in there. Uh, I pocket dredge down here. I got like a flake, a couple pieces of lead, and some specks. That's about it. But if I break all them rocks that are wedged in there out, might give a little bit more. But I found this. I moved all this stuff around. And look, it goes up under. I'm going to try to see if I can get the, this piece to move. <laughs> it's an awful big piece. I don't know if I can do that. But man, I tell you what. See right around these edges? See all that buildup right there? Gravels and clay. You know, gold comes riding over this. Whoop, and just suck it right under there, man. So, and it looks like it's broken, you know. It looks like it's fractured all the way along this edge. And it may be all the way around. I don't know. I haven't tried really tugging at it yet. If I can't get it to come out, I want to clean all down here because there should be something trapped down at the bottom of that. Wherever the bottom of that is, I don't know. So anyway, I gotta finish doing this, and then I'll give this big piece a try. <laughs> it looks good, but uh, doesn't mean it'll come apart. All right, so I got them rocks to come out. See down there? Even got a little bit of a little bit of bedrock to break off there. There's still clays down there. Okay, and I use the pocket dredge. Now you know that old saying: big things come out of little packages. Look at that. Would you look at this? This is about. Uh, oh man, what, a cup full of material that came out of there, okay? Look at this. Look at this sucker here. Look at that coarse, gnarly piece. You see that? Look at that. Oh, God, that's pretty. I mean, that's fresh break looking stuff. It didn't fresh break out of there. It just got trapped in there. Look at that, okay? Seriously. If you're not finding anything in the material, there's a reason. Because it's all down in the bedrock, you see. It's amazing what gets left in these little stinking drops. I mean, there's a couple of nice chunkies in that, man. That is so sweet. Okay, so there's that's got to be five bucks of gold right there. A tenth of a gram, at least. Okay, and there's still clays down there. And if I can get this thing to move, oh, there's no telling. See? So you got to be patient, and you just got to keep trying. I mean, if you get down into those, those old clays like that, and nothing's coming out, okay. You're done, right? If nothing's coming out of them old clays. But if you're pulling that, don't quit. There's more. I didn't catch it on the first pass because it was back with the... Look at this. It's a, it's a BB nugget, man. About the size of BB right there. Look at that. It was hiding with all these heavies. I didn't see it on the first pass. That's why I do two or three passes when I uh, do crevicing like that. Because there's usually a lot of gold in it. That's a nice little chunk of gold. Look at that.
That's cool. Okay, so I still got flakes, see? Now I snuffered everything that was in there that I saw, so I panned it down again, and there's got to be 20 little bits in there still. I don't know if you can see all that, but two or three passes every pan is what I do, just to make sure I this get time it. This I used a little screwdriver, and I got about, oh, I don't know, a tablespoon of dirt, and there's still some decent flakes and stuff down there. Can you see all that? Man, I certainly hope that piece of bedrock will come loose. Oh, I could, it's got to be loaded in there. So I'll, I'll keep loosening anything I can with this little screwdriver, you know. But eventually it's going to stop, and I'm going to have to try to get that big piece out. I hope I can do okay, it. Okay, so my last pull off of this was about a half a tablespoon. I got two little flakes, so I'm done with Okay, that. up under there, I got that fractured layer to break. That's what all these pieces are. That's what's coming out. That nice brown clay and heavies. Oh, man, that's nice. Now, is there gold in it? I ain't seen no gold yet. Of course, I didn't see no gold in the last pan either, or that little trench I did there. So, if I break all this apart, and I'm pulling these old clays out of here, and it's loaded up with heavies, and there's no gold in it, then that'll tell you, right? I'll tell you the gold's taking the lazy way around, and it's going that way instead of this way, okay? This is a good way to tell ow, which way your gold's running on a creek. Man, I hate sharp bedrock. Look at that. Stab right into my hand. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Okay, I got to get this piece of bedrock out of my hand. And then I got to finish getting all that material out. I hope there's some good color in that. Pretty much cleaned out in there. Uh, pocket dredged it and everything. I got six little flakes. That's it. So what's that tell you? Gold's over there. Gold's running this way. It's not coming up and over. It's going down there. So that gives you an idea how the gold's running in here so maybe you can track where the next best crevice would be, you see? You just got to pay attention to stuff like that. It makes finding spots like this a lot easier, you know? So I'm still going to give this big thing a tug because you can see there's still some material trapped up in there and I can't really get to that. So I'm going to see if this big chunk will move. I hope so. So I could at least finish that edge because I'm sure there's more in there. Okay, this is the really goldy trench. That was that drop I was really hoping for, that it would get caught under it. I pretty much abandoned it, so I've moved up maybe a foot or so. Cleared off the bedrock. Now this is the start of that little trench that had all that gold in it. Well, right here, just above it, can you see that? We got crevices. One there, and looks like one there. See that? That's a rock just sticking out of there. So I cleared off the bedrock just above that spot. And it looks like there's some traps here. So I might actually get some decent gold out of this here. Okay. So, man, these bugs are driving me crazy. We got a crevice. I don't know. I think this piece will break off. But I'm not real sure. You know. But there are rocks wedged in here. See this one rock right here. I got my hand on it. And then there's one there, and those are good sized rocks, and down here, you have rocks down here too. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. I'm not the only one that crevices. That's obviously somebody broke that out. Now how long ago? I don't know, but you can tell somebody. That was removed by a person, and they creviced that. But they missed this little trench here, and maybe it won't open. Maybe that's why they didn't work it. But you can still see all these little rocks wedged down in these little cuts, man. That's where the gold's at, right there. I just gotta get in there and get it all out. That's the hard part. That's why it's still there. <laughs> so, you can see it's a nice obvious trench now, right? Looks like a piece of bedrock still stuck here. I might be able to get that out. I hope I can get all this out, because that looks really good to me. That's a good drop. Yeah, it is. I got it all cleaned out, and that crevice really isn't that deep, as you can see. It's not got the soft, rotting clay like this other one had. So I got like, I don't know, six little flakes out of it. That's it. So it's not worth wasting my time. I tried to break it loose. It's solid. It ain't coming loose. So it's time to find another crevice. I walked around looking for at least one more spot, and I couldn't find anything that looked good. That was gonna, really going to give anything good. I didn't think it would anyway, so I'm going home. But before I do, no, not all this, obviously. Not all this is from today. When we get the good rains in here, I uh, come up here just to check and see if there's any new bedrock exposures or anything like that. So this is like 
two times out and today and just doing what I did today you know looking for those drops those offsets those little crevices and that's where all this came from is from crevicing here so no pickers mind you unfortunately I'm not going to call any of those pickers but they are nice chunks there's no doubt about that so I don't know I'm looking at maybe six tenths of a gram there maybe a little bit more than that but that's just you know hitting them low spots hitting them low soft crevices in this hard bedrock they're hard to find. One in 15 has got gold in it, you know, or any real good gold in it. A lot of them have little pepper flakes, you know, five or six in a pan. But psh, no thank you. I mean, I'll keep them if I get them, but I don't want to spend my day looking for that. So this is the stuff I look for, and I look for very specific crevices to try and find that stuff. You know, yeah, there's still nuggets here, and there's still a lot of pickers here, but man, oh man, you got to find the right drop to get them, let me tell you. And I didn't find one of those today. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to get out of here.